Hey guys, it's Alex from Tutorioso, and today I'm going to show you how to run any PC game on any computer, which includes desktops, laptops, and any PC device such as that for absolutely no cost. And that means no matter the specs of the computer, you could run any PC game without upgrading your RAM or video card needed to play the current games that are coming out this November, such as Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. Other games from like 2006 to the present, say if you have like a computer from 2002 and you don't have the software or hardware needed to run the current games, you could easily just play them from here, from downloading these links in the description, and I'll show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get those free to run any game on your computer, say if it's old or anything like that. Okay, so the program is called Swift Shader, and you can download it from the company's website for free, and I'll provide that link in the description. You don't have to crack it or anything in order to get it free, it's just available if the company's website as a trial version. And it's not like you have to pay for it after 30 days or anything like that. You, uh, there's just a logo whenever you're using the company's uh, software in a game that you couldn't run on your PC before. There's just like a small logo at the bottom of the screen that represents that you're using their product. It doesn't affect gameplay, it's just a little picture, but at least you could run the games that you couldn't run on your computer before. After you download the quick link of the company's website, uh, it'll appear as a few files, and you could extract it to anywhere on your computer, I suggest on your desktop, considering how you won't have to find it anywhere on your hard drive, but it'll just be on your screen, right from when you log in anytime you, you want. So basically you want to extract these files into the game system directory, but I'll explain that later in the video as I show you. It's a 3D software renderer, so basically what it does, it takes away the requirements that are needed to play the game, on like a good system that could actually run it fine and modifies it so it could run on your system which, an, which is an old system that originally couldn't uh, play the game and basically tricks your computer into thinking that you have the software needed to play it so it'll, be, it'll run it, uh, the, vil, the, the video will be fine and I suggest playing it on lowest requirements considering how you want the least lag possible uh, because obviously the performance won't be up to code as it would say if you were running it on a good system that wouldn't need this Swift Shader renderer to be played on an old system like yours but at least you can play the game but I'll but I'm telling you now it will be laggy because it requires um, the most out of your systems RAM in order to play the game because it won't rely on your systems graphics card the onboard graphics card that couldn't run the game originally it'll just run on your RAM um, in order to play the game so if your RAM isn't that good if it's only like a 512 megabytes or something like that or actually a gig it still wouldn't run good so performance will will be laggy but at least you could have some fun especially for those of you that have really bad video cards especially the ones lacking the features of like pixel and vertex shaders almost all general games of the PC of the modern day uh, technology that are used to build them definitely can't support the old video cards that were released in 2002 where my system came out and I can't really afford to get a new system so I'm stuck with this one right now but I will be getting a new one soon Okay, so for today I'm using my 2002 Gateway desktop computer. Now I'm going to show you guys what happens when I originally tried to run Battlefield 2, which happened a few years ago when I picked the game up, but then I realized that I couldn't run it because of the qu requirements of my computer were too low to actually run the game at minimal settings. So basically, when I click on this Battlefield 2 icon on my desktop, this is what happens without the Swift Shader files and programs applied to the system directory before doing anything to it. So. Now I click on it and just wait for it to load. And you see point blank it just crashed. Now this just uh, proves how the system detected that my uh, requirements to run the game were too low didn't have any pixel shaders and the RAM was too low too because this is a pretty crappy system so I couldn't run the game and that's what happened a few years ago before I found out about this piece of software Swift Shader so basically you're gonna wanna open up the Swift Shader folder that you downloaded from the internet and depending on if you have an x64 and x86 uh, model computer you're gonna wanna drag the DLL out of one of those folders depending on the version that you have on your computer and you're gonna wanna just drag that to your desktop for now Along with the internet shortcut, also, also included in the download 
uh, folder from the internet. You're going to want to drag that one along right next to the DLL file that you dragged already to the desktop and just place it there. Now you can X out the Swift Shader folder, but uh, just leave it in a safe place. Don't delete the folder. You're going to also want to use these files for other games that you can't run on your computer and use the Swift Shader program for that. So basically, you're going to want to drag the DLL file and the internet shortcut to this game system directory on your computer. And say if you don't know how to find that, go to your hard drive, and then you're going to want to go to program files. Today, the game that I'll be testing is Battlefield 1942. It crashed running on my computer using my system specs, but now I'm going to modify it with the Swift Shader program so it could run automatically using the em uh, emulated features that Swift Shader provides for me. So I'm going to go, want to go to uh, program files. Then I'm going to scroll down to EA Games, and then I'm going to open up Battlefield 2. Now, in that system directory, without touching anything, I'm going to want to drag the DLL file, the x64 for me, and the internet shortcut, and just drag it into the Battlefield 2 uh, system game directory. Now, you're going to want to X that out and leave it alone. Don't remove those files, or otherwise, you're just stuck with the problem of you not running the game on your old computer. And obviously, this isn't only for Battlefield 2. Other games are supported, but this is the one that I'm testing today. So for any other game, you're just going to want to use the same process. Just drag the DLL and the internet shortcut and just put it into the game system directory. Now you're going to want to run it. And let's see how this goes. Okay, now with the Swift Shader files applied and the DLL and the internet shortcut is in the Battlefield 2 system game directory. And also with the resolution applied in the game uh, properties, now I'm going to run it. Now the system is optimizing and modifying the requirements and the Swift Shader files are emulating the required features of the video card. And modifying them into running on my system. So now it doesn't look like it's gonna crash, it's loading up. And this is a 640 by 480 resolution minimized. Set that in the properties. And see how Obviously the video is lagging because Camp Studi is running. And a reminder that I'm on a 2002 Gateway computer. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't run very good anyway, but the cutscenes work fine without a lag. So, works perfectly without Camp Studio. This game runs at a playable 10 FPS, so please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.